There's a new furniture store that just opened in the Rockwall Plaza shopping center between Ulta Beauty and Dick's Sporting Goods. It's called the Amish Furniture Showcase. Uh, this upscale furniture store is owned by Joyce Tucker, who recently moved the store from the Forney location where she opened six years ago. Now, this morning we're going to talk with Joyce a little bit about her furniture. Well, Joyce, thanks for allowing us to come visit you at Amish Furniture Showcase. Tell us a little bit about why you moved to Rockwall. Tell us a little bit about your store. Well, welcome to Amish Furniture Showcase. I moved up here for uh, obvious reasons as a shopping center is the best place to find customers. Uh, makes it easier for my customers to come to me and that I'm right here with uh, all the other things they might want to buy. Well, uh, been in business uh, six years, a little over six years now, and um, I can't imagine doing anything else really. Um, Joyce, how big is your store? It looks like there's a lot of room in here and a lot of furniture. It's actually about 4,000 square feet. Um, I try to maximize. I still have other merchandise coming in. I try to keep new things rotating around. And uh, obviously, that's why I have some clearance merchandise. And uh, we want to keep up with the uh, styles and the trends. Now, it looks like you sell a wide variety of uh, dining, area, dining sets, bedroom sets, and I think you have office furniture too. Is that right? Yes, we do. Uh, as far as a dinette set, um, you can create your own table. You pick your wood, your stain color, the size of your table, the shape of your tabletop, you pick your edge, and then you have choices on legs and pedestals. So it's a custom creation. Now, tell us about your wood. Is this particle board or is it, uh, what kind of wood is this? No, this is all solid wood. There's no particle board, no veneers whatsoever used. So when you order a piece and you say you want oak, that's what you're going to get is oak. What does Amish furniture mean for those who don't understand? The Amish are a quiet group. Um, they don't draw attention to themselves in any way. Uh, they actually prefer not to get attention. But they have a uh, standard that they live by, and it's quality and your reputation and they want to do a good job. They want to make you happy and thereby pleasing God. So Joyce, if somebody comes in and says they'd like to buy a bedroom um, suite, mm -hmm. what would you offer them here? What, what do you have to offer? Well, we have several, not just what I have on the floor, but I have four inch thick catalogs that they have a large selection to choose from. Um, I, I can't carry all the pieces per set that each builder has, like this group here, the Granny Mission, this is the big uh, mule dresser, but you can also get it with a topper. There's two other smaller dressers you can get, plus uh, another style, or not style, but another size on the nightstand. And then this is the big high boy chest, but you can get a smaller chest. And they have other pieces, armoires are available. So you have quite a selection. And you have these in a, a bunch of different stains and different kinds of wood? We have 20 stain colors. And then our woods are oak, cherry, maple, hickory, walnut, and quarter sawn oak. Now Joyce, tell me how the Amish make their furniture. It's very good quality, am I right? Yes, solid wood. Um, and the way they make it, um, like this table, is one man will make this table and he's the only one. His, he's, his are the only fingerprints you're going to find on here. Uh, they do use uh, diesel power generators to supply them power, so they have the power tools. Um, the unique thing is that, such as this table, one man builds this table, another man is building these chairs, and then another man is building this hutch. But they're all going to come in matching. So that's why our stains that we use, they're Ohio certified stains. So we know what colors they're going to come out. How many different colors are there? 20 right now. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about the pricing. I'm sure people want to know what your prices are like. Um, uh, is this expensive or is it uh, middle of the road? Uh, a lot of, 
Well, some people do look at it as being a little expensive, but when you consider that you're never going to have to replace it, um, this is forever furniture. These are your future antiques. This is what you pass down for generations. It's not going to fall apart in five years, 10 years, 20 years. It's going to be around for 100 years. So it, you have to look at it as an investment and a very wise investment. This furniture being solid wood, should something happen, uh, the kids get carried away on, on a tricycle going through the house and bump into something, it's repairable. Where, you know, the furniture with the veneers and the wood product, that's not repairable. It's done for. And those companies want you to come back in and buy again and again. And sorry to say that once I do your house, I won't see you again because you're done, but you will re recommend your friends and you'll bring family in and to show them what kind of an investment they can make and the quality of it. What would you say are your price ranges on uh, dining room sets? Um, or any, any, what are some of the prices of yeah. some of these pieces of furniture? Well, what I carry on the floor is mostly uh, the higher end woods, uh, quarter sawn oak and cherry. Uh, so that makes the prices up there. But you can get a chair uh, starting at, uh, a dinette chair starting at like $200 and then they go up. Uh, it just depends on how much work there is. How there. much is this table that you're standing next to? This particular table runs 1902. It's in quarter sawn oak. It is a 42 by 66 with two leaves that store inside. Okay. And how about the one behind you there? Then this one here, uh, this is a Bunker Hill table. Again, it's a 42 by 60, quarter sawn oak. It's got two leaves that store inside. And this one runs 1867. And that's just for the table. Chairs are all priced separately, so you pick the chairs you want to go with the table that you choose. All right, Joyce, we've worked our way to the back of this large store. Tell us about this office furniture that you have back here. Well, a lot of people are surprised that we do carry office furniture, and you can design your whole office. Uh, these are just a small selection of the things we can get as far as, like, as small as a student desk, and this isn't even near the largest desk set we can do. They also do L-shaped desks. And we do a lot of customizing when it comes to office furniture. Uh, you can get keyboard drawers. Uh, you can change the towers around to uh, where you want your file drawers at, uh, pencil drawers, and et cetera like that. They also do uh, a lot of uh, the uh, pullouts for printers and scanners. And so they're easily accessible. So if someone, if someone wants to order this furniture from you, mm -hmm. um, how long does it take generally before they'll receive it? We always quote two to four months. It just depends on the piece and the builder. Some builders uh, have larger shops than others, have more people working for them. Uh, but average is three months, and it's worth it. Now, Joyce, these are the different stain colors that you offer. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And these are the major woods that we use. So these are the 20 stain colors on the oak, the cherry, quarter sawn oak, hard maple, hickory, brown maple, and even walnut. So this way you can actually come in and see what that particular stain color that you like, what it looks like on all the different woods. So that way you can pick the woods you want and make sure you're getting the colors. So if you need to match up, if you need chairs, but you've already got a table, then bring in the table leaf and we'll get as close as we can. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joyce. It's been Thanks. a pleasure to be in your store today. Like I said, uh, you've got a lot of furniture here, much to shop, much to uh, offer, much to select from. And uh, this has been J.J. Smith with the Rockwall News at Amish Furniture Showcase.